So, in a continuation of my sewing machine drama, they asked me to confirm my address so they could process a warranty claim for my printer. <laughs> Their customer service is just, I don't know if they're just stupid or if they just don't read anything and they're just like, Oh, brother, it must be a printer. I don't know. It's getting really frustrating, but at least we're a step closer. So I'm going to say, yeah, here's my address. Also, I just want to confirm that you know this is a sewing machine. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. It is a miserable day outside. It's just about 11. I slept super well under my weighted blanket last night, and I loved it. Um, and yeah, so it was good. The, the heat was good. The, the weight was okay, so it's very exciting news to me, and maybe I can, like, fold up my duvet today and move it elsewhere, because it's kind of in the middle of everywhere. So yeah. That's where we're at. I'm gonna go make myself some food, email back brother and say not a printer, <laughs> and then um, probably get started on this really shortly. Okay, so I just had lunch and I got nice and cozy in this sweater. I should probably put on pants though because I'm still wearing my pajama shorts and it's a brisk 19.9 degrees in my room. Any, any colder and I'm gonna be cold. <laughs> Anyways, the most recent update with the sewing machine situation is I got an email back saying, thanks for your response, can you send us proof of purchase? <laughs> so, timeline, I sent everything except for a proof of purchase. Then they were like, hey, can you send us the serial number, which I sent them, and then do all these stupid troubleshooting things that aren't going to make a difference, and send your receipt. <laughs> so, I sent a picture of the receipt, I sent a picture of the machine, the sewing machine, so they would know what was wrong in case they couldn't figure it out. And then they emailed me back saying, hey, give us your address and we'll process your printer claim, warranty claim. And I'm like, are you aware that this is not a printer, but it is a sewing machine? And then they're like, hey, can you send us proof of purchase? And I'm like, I just did that two ago. So anyways, that's where we're waiting. That's where we're at. We're waiting now. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> like this time. I was a little sassy. I was like, I already sent a picture of my receipt. I will include it again. Please let me know if you need anything else from me. <sighs> Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put something on my laptop there and then I'm going to start pulling elastic through the scrunchies and pinning them. It's very exciting, but actually an exciting thing, because I saw Strudel there, yeah. They're getting another puppy out in Blind Channel. One of my owners is getting a puppy today. It's a um, mini Australian Shepherd Cocker Spaniel mix, and she is adorable. My boss emailed me yesterday and told me, because she gets it. She was like, oh, I thought you might like to know. And I'm like, you thought correctly. Yeah, Glare's kind of crappy, but look, she's so cute. I'm so excited to meet her. Anyways, <laughs> important things. Um, yeah, so scrunchies. Scrunchies is the plan, and then hopefully by tonight I can take pictures of the scrunchies, and then I should probably also edit at least one vlog, or just like commit tomorrow to just editing all the vlogs. We'll see. And now I feel like I've been rambling, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, so everything is a little bit cleaner over here. Like, you can actually see my floor. <laughs> Bed is made. I'm gonna put my clothes away today. I promise. <laughs> and then I have this pile of scrunchies to sew. Um, I think I'm gonna grab my sewing machine now. Speaking of my sewing machine, I heard back from brother yet again. <laughs> and they were like, oh yeah, we'll just send you a refurbished um, sewing machine that's had little to no use, so hopefully it's not like um, a dud. And um, it's apparently an upgrade from the machine I have because they don't have the machine I have in stock, so that's exciting. I just need to reach out to them and be like, okay, like, how do you want me to send this one back to you then? Do you want me to send this one back to you? Because it still kind of works. <laughs> like, I can use it for most things except for like the difficult like lettering and stuff so anyways that's where we're at happy to have a resolution of sorts and now i'm just gonna use it uh but yeah i need to reach out and ask about that but i was like okay we're good oh oh but like the funniest i got the funniest email so 
they're getting a puppy in Blind Channel. One of my bosses is getting a puppy. So I get an email from the Blind Channel water taxi uh, email and it, the subject line is, what do you think? And then it's a picture of the dog. <laughs> and I'm like, who is sending me this? Do you know you're sending it to me from the dispatch? Like, what the heck? And I was like, oh yeah, like I fully, I fully support this. Can't wait to meet the pupper. And then my boss was like, ha, I just realized this came from this account. Anyways, glad you're, you approve. I guess we'll go ahead with it then. I'm so excited to meet the puppy because I am the official puppy petter out of Blind Channel. So that's exciting. Um, I think they're actually getting her today, which is really cool. And then I was talking to Strudel's mom and she was like, yeah, I'm at this place picking up passengers and Strudel insisted on coming and Strudel's just in the boat with her. Like, no big. I'm like, you do know that she has sensed that change is coming and she is sucking up to you. And she was like, yeah, I think she is. And then the cat of the owners that is that are getting the puppy was like attacking boxes and stuff today. And I'm like, I'm just envisioning like this Rocky montage, Max just like punching boxes and getting ready to attack this poor little defenseless puppy. Anyways, <laughs> that was a lot of information. I'm gonna go now and I'm going to sew now. Alrighty, look at that pile of scrunchies. I still have to cut all the threads off them, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> I think it's unlikely that I will get to taking pictures of my scrunchies tonight, partially because that's still a lot to do, cutting all the threads, and it's 8.30, and also partially because I'm lazy. I mean, at least I'm being honest. Um, but what I think I will do is um, get my light box out and set up and ready to go for the morning, so then I can just do that then. I'll probably do the inventory of these tonight, like that makes sense. Also, I don't have a thread color to match these. It's like every time it happens. I can like match all the thread colors but one, and it's because that was some of the fabric that I bought before I went to Blind Channel and I was just going, yeah, buy all the things, and I didn't think to match thread colors to everything, so. That's fine. So I'm gonna deal with these, probably do inventory like I said, and then uh, tomorrow I think I'll start cutting the Christmas fabric, <laughs> which is very exciting. I've got six, seven, eight, I think I have like 10 different patterns. And I also have like some polyester, I think it is, or satiny, whatever, I think it's polyester fabric in like green, gold, and burgundy that I could cut too because that'd be very Christmassy. And the plan for next week is to finish all the Christmas stuff by next week. That's the goal. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to my show and start cutting thread, which is about to be all over my shirt. I already still have some thread on here from previously, but hey, we're just gonna keep going. so I almost forgot to end the vlog but I am here it is 12 30 I cut some more fabric this like uh, polyester -y, silky satiny whatever stuff and I'm trying to figure out a different way to sew the scrunchies it has not gone well I managed to make a tube <laughs> and then I sewed this but I can't flip it inside out so my brain just it just needs to process it properly and it's too tired to do it right now to figure out how I can sew it and flip it. Um, and then as you saw, these arrived and so now I can put my elastic in it and store it there once I cut it up, so that's exciting. And yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep now, so I'll see you in the morning probably. <laughs> Good night.